Hey, what it is? This is my analysis video of the Madden 12 Sizzle trailer. Let's start. Get right into it. All right. Um, the first two uh, animations you see is pretty good. Um, all right. This is Bard Scott that's getting bowled over. Not a cornerback. Not a pussy linebacker. Bard Scott is a beast, you know, and he's getting bowled over. Now, if you look in the background, you see the play is going to his side. So why is he running forward and getting bowled over? Right. And then if you look behind him, also, you have the other um, offensive lineman paused in his tracks because his AI gets messed up. All right. Um, good collision right there. Then you have this animation done, performed by Maurice Jones Drew. Right now, where else have you seen that? Yep, that's right, right there. Michael Vick doing exactly the same animation. So they think uh, Michael Vick and Maurice Jones Drew is the exact same runner. That's how I'm taking it. Uh, that's not good. That's not authentic. Right here, you have it looks good, but if you look closely, it's actually a warp in tackle. He's he's head on, and then he gets warped onto his left side, onto the left side of the screen. Peoples, this is the same stuff that we've been seeing in the last three or four years from Madden. All right, um, very unrealistic, not too cool. That's the same dive animation from NCAA. Here is very bad. This is what we always seen on Madden. Number 76 should be double teaming 95, but he's not. All right, the offensive lineman. Um, broken tackle right there looks okay. Um, this is the best animation of the whole trailer. The diving animation, he's still getting tackled. That is the best animation of the whole trailer. Um, it almost looks like a pro tag moment right here. Somebody comes in and uh, knocks him back, which should always happen. Pretty good. Um, stiff arm by Gore. Touchdown. Good. We saw that animation in the uh, trailer before. Um, now, this defense, I would dissect it, but I don't exactly know what defense they're running, so I really can't say what should happen or not. Um, now, at the end of this right here, this that spin, fall, stumble animation that Mike Vick and Maurice Jones Drew did, done by Troy Palomayu right here. Oh, boy, this is the worst of the worst. Um, this is um, Hummingbird defense, as Apex, Apex would say, but I'm not Apex, so I'm going to say this is peekaboo defense. He sidesteps and jumps out the way, moving faster than the ball. Um, the tight end of the of the Patriots, um, Grabkowski, I think his name is, um, he is in perfect position to make this play. He is 6'6". Darrell Reavers makes an insane play right here. That's disgusting. That makes me want to throw up. Um, right here, um, 82 and 71. The offensive lineman should be double teaming that cowboy. I don't know what number he is because it doesn't show. Uh, good collision right there. Good graphics. Love the presentation in this game. Okay. Look at your um, guard and your right tackle, right? They get done the same animation. Those two are the same animation. The two different tackles gives them the same animation. Now, if you look further on to your left, you have... Uh, the, the DB turn his back and then he has eyes on the back of his head to notice that he's making an out route. That is horrible cornerback play in any game. I don't care. That is bad. He turns his back completely then turns back around to make the play. That's that's horrible. It's either he's out of position or he's in position. Make up your mind, Madden. Um, this, look, that looks good, right? But that's the same thing that happened to Bar Scott and that's an offensive lineman pushing over a DB. That's what should happen. Not it should not happen to Bart Scott. Okay, big difference. All right. Um, it's, the gameplay is not dynamic. It's either there or not. Or you get knocked over, you get held up. I wanted to pause this because this is nothing wrong with this image. This is the future Super Bowl champs, the New York Football Giants. That's right. <laughs> anyway, um, again, no double team. As you as you can see, the um, the tackle and the guard just look aimlessly and then look closely number 66 actually gets sucked into 98 that's more warping the same crap that we've been seeing throughout Madden for years disgusting disgusting good animation there yeah you ain't got no belt shut up yeah he they did win okay um 72 right is on an island offensive lineman right there in front of you is on an island doing nothing nothing at all Ugh. Madden 12 true to the game can't say that I think it's just true to Madden 
That's all it is. Chew to the game of Madden. That's all it is, man. We've been seeing the same crap. Um, they try to make it real short and uh, sweet and only show the collisions, but it's so many flaws in the game that they seriously just have to fix everything. Because if you look at it, slow it down, you will see a lot of the flaws is which I pointed out to you. Um, but that's my analysis trailer. It was a lot to dissect. Um, a lot to show, real like two, two or three seconds worth of footage, and I slowed it down, and that's why I had to replay it so many times. Because it's you really have to look at it, and they're really trying to hide it. Um, I don't know if it will be fixed. I'm hoping all that crap will be fixed, but I highly doubt it. They have to fix the QB play. Uh, it's so many things. I didn't mean to say QB. I meant to say uh, CB, C, uh, DB play. Um, but they have a lot to fix, man. I'm out getting stepping out the booth right now <laughs> hope everybody have a good weekend peace